the best spot to see the solar eclipse is right here in Illinois. On Monday, the path of prime viewing as the moon passes in front of the sun will stretch across the United States. It reaches its point of greatest duration just south of Carbondale, Illinois. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli found out some Chicagoans are already set to hit the road. I actually have my chairs, my blanket, a change of clothes. Carol Sundin's trunk is packed and ready to go. Gotta have blanket for safety reasons. She'll be road tripping to see a total eclipse of the sun. I have a list. The camera with the tripod and the filters, but most importantly, don't forget the batteries. It's a journey she's planned since February. When we get in the car, we're not stopping unless we're out of gas. And she knows she won't be alone. With everybody going to Carbondale, it's going to be packed. The 330 mile journey from Chicago to Carbondale, the closest spot for optimal viewing, is normally a five and a half hour drive. But it could take longer, with thousands headed to the small southern Illinois town to take in the site. We're both excited and nervous all at the same time. Tourism officials there are planning free viewing events. Still, the viewing path stretching across the southern end of the state is 75 miles wide. Most communities have canceled days off for emergency personnel and at hospitals to handle the crowds. Do you have any idea how many people are going to be there? We have been planning for 50,000, um, and so we're anticipating that that number could go up into the 60s. Airbnb reports 220 bookings in the area the day of the eclipse. They include campers and spots in empty fields, as well as Nicholas Donoff's townhouse at $500. Everyone seems to be kind of amped up, but everyone has a lot of questions. Nobody really knows what to expect. You cannot see anything. Carol bought her protective right solar now. specs on Friday for a site she wants to see to believe. And it is totally pitch black. How many fingers do I have up? I have no idea. <laughs> for the record, it was three fingers, but you really can't see anything in those glasses. The Adler Planetarium ordered 200,000 solar glasses and shared thousands with Chicago Public Libraries today to be distributed for free. And demand was so high that most of the branches, just like you see here, ran out of their supplies within just an hour. And also, let's talk about that population, Robin Erica, of Carbondale. Mm -hmm. It will triple in size if only 60,000 people go there. You know, I know probably three families that are taking a train down on Sunday to go do it. It's a thing. And I've heard that dorms in some places are renting out for hundreds of dollars because there's no uh, hotel space. Yeah. I, I was at a barbecue on Friday, and everyone kept saying, oh, you're going down? Oh, we're bringing the family down. Wait, everyone at the barbecue was, was headed down to Carbondale. You really have to make sure you know where you're going and oh, it, yes. have a place to see it. Absolutely. It is great to see all this and, excitement. And you have your glasses, <laughs> too, if you're looking. Thanks, Vince.